We started working with Kim's Two Jaw about four years ago on an exhibition. And it's been a wonderful journey over those four years with the artists. It's been a very collaborative process. Uh, this is the first exhibition that really assesses the full extent of her 30-year career. And what's important in this situation is that we're showing in this gallery and in other galleries the works that she did in the 1980s that really precedes the work that she's really well known for internationally. So we developed many floor plans. We started uh, with, uh, with one idea of how to begin and, and ended up with the exhibition that we have here today. When I was at school uh, in the 70s, I've been very much uh, interested in Korean uh, traditional uh, culture and structure of the uh, architecture language or objects, uh, furniture and so on. So as trained as a, as a painter, uh, I have uh, uh, problems uh, in finding the, the connection to it. But one day uh, when I was uh, sewing with my mother uh, to prepare the bath cover uh, cloth, uh, I had an amazing, exhilarant uh, moment of energy, uh, as if all the energy from the universe is coming through my body, hits onto this uh, needle point that touches the fabric. And there was a very special moment, and I was very taken by it. And I thought that that is the, the methi uh, methodology I would pursue. Although Kim Soo Jaw is very interested in looking at the world as it is today, uh, it's not a very pretty place in many parts of the world. It's full of war, it's full of strife, it's full of combat. And yet, she presents a, a very optimistic view. She presents a world that, that can coexist, where different points of view, where different religions uh, might live together in one place. I love Kim Soo Jaw's work because she is engaged in very human issues of our time. She has a, a deep social consciousness and she works materially in wonderful ways. So there's a very strong sense of, of fabric, of objects. We have a truck in the exhibition. Uh, you will see remarkably crafted objects here that are very beautiful, along with video uh, projections and installations that are, uh, I would say that they're spiritual. So uh, I find her work very uplifting and optimistic, and I think that's that's what we want people to take away from this exhibition, a really positive outlook about how they can participate in a more positive world.